Hey everyone, I'm Ben, and in this video we're going to be using Unreal Engine 4.26's new buoyancy component to make a boat float. Alright, let's get into it. So you can see here I've got an ocean connected to this landscape actor. If you're not sure how to set this up, you can jump over and check the other video, it's in the description. Um, now, once we're here, we just want to go and check out the buoyancy example that Epic have provided. So I'm just going to first make sure that I go to Edit and plugins and then search for water to make sure that's all enabled good yep that's great not going to have this without it and then i'm going to come down and i want to search for water but before i do that i need to make sure that under my content browser in the view options i've got my engine content ticked on and my show plugin content ticked on then i'm going to come back to my search paths and i'm going to look for water and we can see here that we want to go for this large text water content and then the blueprints and in there we've got this bp underscore buoyancy example and i'm just going to drag that into the viewport and up above my water making sure it's sufficiently high above the water that um should be able to drop down okay then i'm just going to go and simulate press alt s or press simulate and that looks to be floating nicely cool let's have a quick look at that to see how it's working if we double click and jump in we can see that there is a static mesh and it has a buoyancy component and that buoyancy component if i open that up has a number of pontoons all right let's go create our own okay so i'm going to delete this out of the scene and i'm going to also turn off my show engine content and my show plugin content just to streamline my content browser close my search and i've got a folder for blueprints in my project and i've also created one for buoyancy so I'll jump in there and I want to create my own blueprint now. So I'll right click and choose create basic asset blueprint class. And I'm going to choose a parent class of actor. And then I'm going to rename this blueprint BP underscore buoyant power yacht. Cool. With that done, I'll double click on it to jump into it. And once I'm in here, what I want to do first off is create a static mesh that's going to replace this scene route. So I'll click on add component and search for static mesh. Once that's done, I'm going to click and drag it over the scene route to replace it as the scene route. And then I'm just going to rename this one and I'm just going to press F2 and type SM underscore power yacht. Cool. And while I've got that, I'm just going to go and choose my static mesh. So under the details panel, static mesh, I'm going to choose the drop down and choose power. Yeah. All right. There's my power yacht. Cool. So the next thing is we want to make this actually float. So we're going to add a component to it. So click add component and choose BUO buoyancy. So now we've got the buoyancy and we've got the power yacht. Let's just select the power yacht static mesh and make sure that the transform mobility is set to movable. And once that's done, we're also gonna come down and make sure that it's simulating physics so that it falls according to gravity. And with that done, let's see what we have. Compile, save, and I'm just going to dock this to my main window, jump over and into my main scene and drop this blueprint into the scene, being sure to keep it well above the water. I'll go ahead and simulate this and it sinks. Well, that was not too exciting. So what I'm gonna do is double click and go and jump back into that. And what I wanna do is take a look at this buoyancy. Remember back in the actual blueprint example, there's a number of pontoons. So in the details panel, you can see that the buoyancy has zero pontoons right now. So if I add one pontoon, that seems like it might help, but we'll find that it won't because in my case, the static mesh, when I enabled my simulate physics, you can see the calculated mass is about 30 tons, which is too much for what I want to be doing. So I'm just going to enable a specific amount and say 100 kilos. Save and jump back into my scene. So Alt P or Alt S and you can see that it's floating now. But there's a bit of a problem. It's just spinning around this single point of the origin of this actual ship. And that's just because I've got one pontoon, one floating uh, element to this. So it just isn't that useful right now. Unless we wanna do a disaster scene or um, something of that nature. So I'm just gonna escape out of that. Jump back into my blueprint 
And over here, I want to have some more pontoons. And so what I'm going to do is say, I'm going to have a pontoon here, 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 and here. So I'm going to have four pontoons, and I just have to figure out where those are. So let's go and grab, I'm going to grab my buoyancy. I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to add three more pontoons. So one, two, three. I've got four of them total. Now I'll just open them up. And where do they need to be? What is their relative position of each one of these pontoons? Well, I just marked them out with my cursor, but I don't know where that is as far as the numbers are. So I'm just going to add a component here and say a cube. Oh, or a plane will do fine. And I'll just kind of move this plane where I want it. And um, yeah, something like that. So maybe this position is about, you know, 150 forward on the X, you know, away from the center line and 700 forward, you know, if this is the, the origin. So that's cool. So about 700 forward on the Y and how far back? All right, and I'll say about 1500 back on the Y, so minus 1500. Cool, I've got those. I'm gonna grab my, my buoyancy. And the first one I'm gonna do is the front um, pontoon. So I'll say 700 forward for both of those. And then for the next two, I'll say minus 1500. And so these are the two at the back. And then I just have to horizontally separate them. So the front ones are going to be 150 off on the X and minus 150 on the X. And then at the back, the split's gonna be the same. So 150 on the X and minus 150 on the X. Okay, this now has four pontoons and weighs, uh, I think 100 kilos. And let's go and see how it's looking. Let's go and press play. And it's looking, I believe, more stable. Yeah, although it's, it's rocking back quite a bit. All right, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Or you can see it needs a bit of dampening. So this is kind of rocking. It's a bit violent. So I'll just escape out of that and see if we can't dampen some of it. So I'm going to choose my buoyancy. And under the buoyancy, I'll scroll down. You can see we can apply some drag forces. That's going to help dampen that motion. And so with that, let's see if that's going to help us at all. Back to our example here. Alt P to simulate. Looking better. That's better. And I'm just going to escape and say, hey, last thing is I'm just going to double click to jump back to my blueprint. And I'm going to make this static mesh. I'm just going to make it three times as big. So the scale is uh, roughly right. Save. Control S. And try playing that one. All right. I think it's getting beached on the shoreline. Uh, that's uh, not going to be an issue. And that's actually quite desirable. Uh, this guy... If we turn around and uh, let's go on Alt P. Okay, that could be fine tuned if we didn't want to have water coming on the deck there. And, you know, maybe this guy, uh, he's made some bad financial choices. And so he's just going to be com committing a bit of uh, insurance fraud with his power yacht. Uh oh. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that helps. And I'll see you in another video.